Now, Montana County elected officials run campaigns with their designated party, Republican or Democrat. But that could change after this legislative session. MTN's Madeiras Babb tells us about House Bill 129 and whether or not Gallatin County officials support it. There are 56 counties in Montana, of which 11 of them have nonpartisan elected officials. Proposed House Bill 129 would change that by allowing local voters to choose whether or not their officials, such as the commission, treasurer, and clerk and recorder, must be affiliated with a party. County Commissioner Don Seifert said an advantage of having nonpartisan races is that it allows for a larger pool of people raising the stakes. I think the interesting thing is, is that it makes those of us that are running for office um, uh, run on our skill set and explain our skill set. And so th it makes us probably campaign harder to get our message out and what sets us apart from, from our opponents. Gallatin County Sheriff Brian Kukin was one of the local officials that went down to Helena to testify for the bill, saying his position really has nothing to do with political party. When my phone call, when my phone rings or I get an email from a citizen who has a concern, that is not a factor and it never is and it never will be. And as sheriff, you know, my job is pretty specific. It's about public safety and it's about making sure that people are safe and there's no room in that for Republican or Democrat. If the bill is passed, it does not mean that Gallatin County would automatically become nonpartisan, but instead would allow voters to choose if their elected officials must run under a designated party. In Bozeman, Madeiras Bab, MTN News. Thanks, Madeiras. Now, all three of the Gallatin County commissioners wrote letters to the legislature in support of the bill. Eleven Montana counties already have nonpartisan officials.